All right, guys. Well, welcome back to season two of the mod showcase with Leaf. My name is Leaf, and as always, it's awesome to have you guys here. So you may notice we're in a little bit of a different locale, and I wanted to bring in summer with like, you know, just the perfect vibe. So we're over here in this. It, I think it's the uh, last challenge map or campaign map. Sorry. And I just wanted to bring us in with a new mod showcase map and I will upload the template of this to the workshop for all you guys. The old one I probably won't really touch because I wasn't really a big fan of it anyways. But no, here we are. We have all these beautiful little animal statues just welcoming us in. We have a lot of tiny like little things over here for you guys to check out, but we're not here for this. We are here for all the glorious mods, so we're actually in for a huge treat today because we have at least 20 i think so it's been a little bit of a slow rollout with the africa pack but we are just getting right into all this stuff so we're actually going to start off with the cape bushbuck by xi-fi and xi-fi has been wanting this one in game for the longest time and it looks really, really cool. I am actually really surprised with how good it actually does look in game. Sci-fi, you gotta take better pictures, son. Listen, you're not showing off the true beauty of this animal, all right? It actually looks really, really good. The only complaints I do have though are in terms of the face. It just looks a little bit like a blurry mess. And of course you're kind of missing that nose. And if you just turn the light on, yeah you can honestly see it a little bit better so i really do hope you're hammering in on like fixing those changes but otherwise for your first animal this is so so cool and now this is probably good, like my favorite of the entire bunch this is the platypus now i worked on this with a lot of different people so jen leaf me obviously ndp and nicholas line rider all these guys went in to help this guy become a reality. So I'm just going to address this right off the bat. The albinos will not look like this. This is only because they're missing the texture. So they're just extra albino, but I'm going to have a nice little reference of a skin in there soon. But yeah, these guys are the absolute cutest. So these guys, they're, they were a little bit of a pain in the butt. I'm going to be completely honest. So one of the most important things about this guy is that it's based off of the Cayman rig. But interestingly enough, if you notice, he does have a little bit of hair. And that is because NDP taught me how to add hair to non-hair animals. So the only other animals that have this currently in the game are the Red River Hog, which is currently unreleased, and the Woolly Mammoth, which we all know like how much effort and love and time went into that one. And yeah, NDP decided to pass his little tricks on to me to teach me how to... Uh, add hair to this little guy so yeah they are absolutely beautiful they are the they're like one of the only egg laying mammals in the world and i just love them i know a lot of people may have some problems with like the bill and how it's a little bit stylized from frontier uh so the original model was ported over from zoo tycoon 3 so you may notice it kind of has a little bit of a stylized bill i personally love it like that i think it gives it so much more character and also the skin was done by Jen, who did a fabulous job on it. So this is a little bit of a working animal. You may notice that like some of the Zoopedia isn't right, some of like everything else isn't right. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I'm getting everything right for you guys. Hopefully it should be out by that time. I'm gonna mess with the FGM values a little bit more. I'm gonna make sure that this guy is absolutely perfect for you guys to have. So definitely do keep an eye out for that. But yeah, I just absolutely love these guys, and I hope you guys do too. They are easily one of the best animals in the game, I must say so myself. But we have a lot of awesome other things to pop in on. So we also have the Chiru, which is also known as the Tibetan Antelope. This is by Phonetic. Now this one was shadow dropped on us. And here's a little baby. So these guys are endemic to the regions around Tibet, as well as like some other locales. A little bit of China, India, and other places like that. But yeah, these guys are cool. The female and the baby are absolutely beautiful, but I think the male is where this animal really shines. It has this really, really unique horn shape. Or are they? No, those are horns. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they're just absolutely beautiful. They're not really kept in captivity all that often. I don't even think there are any instances of them in captivity currently. But still, it's really awesome to have these guys. And speaking of animals not held in captivity, we have two dodos over here. So we have the normal dodo by Narwhaler, and we also have the Mori 
Mauritius Grey Dodo by TNT, and these guys have killed it. They were in a little bit of a space race, so it was kind of like uh, Russia versus the US with this. But in this case, it was more like Portugal versus um, Spain, <laughs> actually. But yeah, so this one is, I believe this is Narwhalers. We're actually going to check this one out first. And yeah, I love these guys. They are the skinny queens of dodos. And they're so beautiful. Such an amazing texture job on them. Such an amazing beak shape, too. That's easily like one of my favorite parts about this animal. So, amazing job on that. They also have those little tail feathers. And, you know, TNT's is amazing as well. TNT has that little TNT twinge to it. You feel? I feel like a lot of his mods tend to have this little bit of grittiness to them. But it's that same grittiness that I love. So you see there's so much texture going on with like the feathers. And the face is absolutely glorious as well. These guys are just a bit chunkier. And I don't know, I just really, really like them. And of course we have to have the watermelons in there for, uh, for you know, Ice Age sake. And this is a little juvenile of the Dodo. I think it's so cute. I just want to hold him up and like take him home with me. He's adorable. Look at him run. Oh, that is too cute. All right. So amazing job on that, you guys. Both did such an amazing job. And over here, we have a little bit of a dynamic duo. So this is Galapagos Penguin. And this is by Giorno Pizza and Brett. Now, Giorno is one of my fellow coders. And I believe she stepped in to help Brett bring this Galapagos Penguin to life. And these guys are absolutely amazing. Such an amazing use of the African Penguin rig. And these guys are just such a welcome addition. I believe they may have interspecies enrichment with the... No, they do not. So it would be cool if, like, an update they get interspecies enrichment with the Galapagos tortoise. But still, they are such an amazing creature to have in the game. I love the feather texture. Like, and the wings and stuff. It is so cool. So yeah, amazing job on that to both of you guys. And I think we're actually popping in for our one and only aquatic. Fully aquatic mod over here. Actually, we'll take a little stop by the eastern United States to take a little peek at this one. Now, I know you guys may remember this guy. So this is the Eastern Chipmunk by Jen in Leaf. I was able to code Jen's little chipmunk in here. It uses the Meerkat rig, and we actually see a few Meerkat-based mods throughout this entire showcase for this week. So yeah, I love this guy. And like I already said, all there was need to be said in the little live stream for you guys for... I don't know, how long ago was that? Probably like two weeks? I don't know, but I love these guys, so I hope you guys do too. They're just such little cute creatures. And they actually do burrow, which is such a cute little addition. Look how small he is. Okay, I need to put a Frank next to him because this is so cute. But yeah, we'll just get a Frank. Look how small they are. Look how far you could probably kick them. I could probably kick them all across the map right there, but hey, we're not going to kick any animals today. We're actually going to see our aquatic animal. So this is the Beluga, and I ported this over from Endless Ocean 2, and I guess it's kind of coming up to say hi to us. So yeah, this one was ported from Endless Ocean 2, one of my favorite games. You guys may have noticed the Amazon River Dolphin as well was ported from there, and these guys are so beautiful. I love how well they work. And once we actually get locomotion speeds figured out, we will actually alter this so they actually swim a little slower. I don't know, I just really like them. If you're not a fan of the aquatic mods, that's totally fine. I get they move kind of jank, but I don't know, I still love them nonetheless. They are so beautiful. I don't know, they just live up the ocean so much. And when you're like staring at them from this far away, they look perfect. So, you know, it's fine. And so over here, this is where Nick is truly, truly shines. So you may notice a few new items over here. And Nick has been working tirelessly on bringing some of the exhibit props into the game. So we're actually going to pop into one of these. So, you know, let's just get one of the African exhibits. We can pop it up right there. And I believe we could use the boa constrictor. I think actually would it use the centipede? Let's try out the centipede. So you may notice that there are a bunch of different things in here and he actually ported a lot of these. Oh, I'm going to need a sneeze, so watch out for that. <coughs> All right, bless me. 
But yeah, you may notice that all these sticks in here, you don't actually have them as scenery in the game. They're only restricted to these little exhibits. But Nick saw it upon himself to actually rip them right from their shells and bring them to be new scenery. So these guys are absolutely amazing. We have some tropical plants. I think this is actually a bromeliad. There is a little bit of a problem with them regarding the FGMs, I think, where if you turn them in like an axis, they'll change color. I think it's actually kind of useful because what if you want to like, I don't know, what if you kind of like some plants being kind of like that and you just have like different darker variants of them. I think it actually is a happy little accident if I do say so myself. And you have a bunch of logs and branches with them and I don't oh know, I'm just so amazed with it. Even this little guy right here, that is perfect for like decoration and stuff. But I feel like what we really want to keep our eyes to is the sky. So over here, and you may notice a little bit of a pop in, pop out. That is unfortunately a side effect with the East Asia, East Asia water wheel. But yeah, these are the macaw packs. And Nick was able to port these over from Zoo Tycoon 3. So you may see that this game actually does have use after all. But these guys are ported over from there and they are absolutely beautiful. They absolutely liven up the skies. So if you're working on like a little aviary, you have six different macaws to choose from. I will actually list them out for you all right now. So if we search up macaw, we have the scarlet macaw, obviously. We have the military macaw, which is one of my favorites. I love the coloration on him. We have the hyacinth macaw. We have the flying great green macaw sure blue gold macaw and the blue throated macaw so we have a bunch of beautiful birds to liven up your zoos they're absolutely amazing i love them so much so amazing job nick on all those props you guys got to give so much credit to nick for actually like hammering down all these scenery props they are so cool so over here we are not done with nick just yet we actually have his wolf's glennon and you can see the little babies right here. I love these guys. They're so cute. They have like the biggest heads. I don't know. I love them. But yeah, these guys are known for their kind of like unique uh, fur patterning, I guess. So they're very colorful and they have these little fronds of hair that kind of stick off of them. They're a Congoese monkey and I don't know. I just really like them. So yeah, that's pretty much it for them. So we're going to continue down the path a little bit and visit the Brown Hyena by Dr. Hyena and Giorno Pizza. And yeah, these guys are beautiful. I love the fur on these. Like, Dr. Hyena always blows me away with all of his hyenas. They make such amazing hyenas with these. And the patterning on these guys is so beautiful. And yeah, look at these guys just like walk around. I love their legs too. They're so beautiful with all the stripes and stuff. I'm not sure if these guys are kept in captivity all that often, but still, it's just awesome to have a bunch of awesome animals in the game nonetheless. And I think there may actually be a cub around here. I do like checking out the babies. And that's something I really want to do going forward with the mod showcases. I do want to show off the babies as well. And you guys have seen like a bunch of them so far, but I think this is a baby. That is not a baby. This is a baby. All right. Let's actually bring him over here. And oh my God, that is the cutest thing ever. Look how fluffy she is. But amazing job, you two. Always bringing it like home with all these beautiful, beautiful hyenas. And Giorno, I have no idea what's going on with you. You are going crazy this week, or I guess it was really two weeks. But Mega Game and Rex has teamed up with you to create the Syrian Brown Bear. And these guys are so beautiful. They're fluffy, they're brown, and they're so cute. So they're a little bit of a sandy brown texture. And just the fur patterning on them is amazing as well. So amazing job to you guys both. These guys are found in like the Middle East. There are subspecies of brown bear. Probably not as cool as the Himalayan brown bear. I'm just kidding, of course. No, these guys are so cool. I don't know. I just really love these. So if you're working on like a Middle Eastern zoo, which, you know, I, I may actually throw these in the Kalahari Zoo. But yeah, these guys are so cool. I have no idea what he's doing right there. So we're just going to ignore him. Uh, yeah, they're, they're just doing their own thing, I guess. So over here, 
we have the first modded turtle. So this is the red-footed tortoise by both me and Nick. And these guys are so cute. So these guys are commonly kept as pets. And yeah, I just really do love them. So these guys are one of the first asset package transplants for turtles. And it just opened up a whole new world for mods. If you guys want to make like, I know someone's making a gopher tortoise. I know someone's making like a uh, hood island tortoise, which you know, that someone is me. <laughs> but yeah, these guys are so cute and they're tiny too. So they're perfect for like those small exhibits that you usually have in the zoos. But yeah, I feel like these are the stars of the show. So Bongo Hardwood, uh, these are my favorites. I'm just gonna say it like without a doubt. Um, these guys are beautiful. So first and foremost, this is the Scarlet Ibis. And yeah, this guy is so beautiful. When I first saw this, I was like, oh my God, Bongo, you are an absolute madman. So these guys are found in like South America, maybe some parts of North America as well. And they are also accompanied by the American White Ibis. So I saw these guys all the time when I went down to Florida and they're just so beautiful. So if you're working on like aviaries and stuff, these guys are perfect for it. I have no idea what is happening over here. Um, yeah, that's a thing, all right. I think there are some juveniles around here. Uh, are there? I'm trying to figure that out because he did such an amazing job with juveniles as well. No, so I guess they kind of grew up, so unfortunately we don't get to see them, but if you check the Nexus page, he has all the, like, the pictures listed there for all of them. They're so beautiful. So, amazing job, Bongo. Like, that is so amazing, but we're not done with you yet. We have the Nene, so this is a Hawaiian goose. And these guys are so beautiful, so you did such an amazing job with the skin texture. It's so beautiful, and guys, I gotta point this out. He transplanted the flamingo feet onto the peafowl feet seamlessly like it is so perfect i cannot believe it and i think there are also some goslings hanging out around here i'm not sure where i guess they might have grown up already unfortunately so that's kind of sad but again check out the nexus page if you do want to see some of the babies they're so cute but amazing job bongo so just bringing life to hawaii honestly and now we come back to our good old friend Narwhaler. So this is the Bukharan Markor, and I really do hope I pronounce that right. But these guys are so cute. So if you're working on like a little Asian Highland section of your zoos, these guys are perfect for it. So these guys have these beautiful spiral horns. I have no idea how Narwhaler does it, but that is absolutely amazing how like glorious this guy looks. And look at the babies too. I'm just so amazed. It's so short. It's so stubby. And the females too, they like, usually the female goat mods don't really have a lot of love put into them. But this one is so amazing. Look at the tiny horns as well. I'm just so amazed with it all. So amazing job, Narwhal. That is so cool. And now we are not done with Narwhaler yet. This is the Numbat. So this is actually a marsupial native to, I believe, Australia. But it could be Tanzan, not Tanzania, wow. Um, okay, you may need to fix that, Narwhaler, <laughs> I'm sorry, but Tasmania, I think, maybe not, but yeah, these guys are so cute, they're based off of the meerkat, so they actually do burrow, and yeah, they're so cute, they just look so different from the meerkat, I'm so amazed with how well it works, and even like the little texturing on the ass over here is so amazing, so great job on that, Narwhaler, I love watching them scurry around, it's so cute. And over here, I need to give a big ol' shout out to our boy Jasper, who was able to crack the code on the Lemur asset package transplants. So I was able to team up with Jasper and Nick in order to get the black and white roughed Lemur into the game. And these guys are absolutely amazing. We can actually see a few in the trees over here. But yeah, these guys are just like the red roughed Lemur, except they're cooler, I need to say. Yep, they're so much cooler. But yeah, these guys look like little formal guys. And there's actually the baby right there. I love the baby so much. I love his like huge eyes. He always looks like he's surprised. He's adorable. But yeah, these guys are the first released lemur out there. I believe Jasper is working on a Safaka. 
which is going to be really awesome to have in the game. But yeah, I love these guys. So if you guys haven't already downloaded them, this is such an amazing mod, especially because there's never enough lemurs in the game. If you're working on like a lemur dome, they are perfect for it. And I think this is actually going to be our last mod of the of the week, of the day, of the month. I don't even know. But yeah, these are the African Dwarf Crocodiles. So this is actually the Juvenile. And I don't know, it's just really cute. Look at that patterning. It's sick. But yeah, let's actually take a look at the adult because these guys are the cooler ones. And yeah, they are just happy little guys. I love them. So this one was done by Mega Game and Rex. And I already had code for them done. So I was like, all right, hey, you want to collab, bro? So yeah, these guys are absolutely striking. I love them. They're just happy little guys. And they're perfect for like all those Congo sections in your zoo. So definitely do check these guys out. And yeah, like that is being said, that is the first episode of season two for our mod showcase. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was really fun to put this one together. It was really fun to build like this entire map. So definitely do take a look in the description down below. I will have the Steam Workshop link for this. So you guys can have your little bit of like a template zoo going forward. As always, let me know your favorite mod in here. I gotta say, this guy's my absolute favorite, the little platypus. But you know, he may not be one of your favorites. So let me know which your one is. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days.